What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our goalie career. Today, we got a really tough matchup against the Florida Panthers team who are starting to turn around their season. I believe they're 8-8-0 eight, eight, and o on their season, but I think they've won seven of their in their last 10. So very strong team. I mean, you can see the guys on the left there, Kachuk, Barkov, Ekblad, just to name a few. I actually didn't know that Kachuk was a 96 overall. Now, it is season two, so it might have gone up a little bit, but that's scary. <laughs> not what you love to see as a goaltender but uh, if you haven't been following along or you missed the last few videos then you've missed some pretty ridiculous things happening in this season two currently the kings are boasting a nine five and one record which is a phenomenal start to the season but for myself i am somehow trying to defend an eight O and O, perfect start to the season. I have no idea how this is happening. It has been sloppy hockey too. There's been a lot of really close calls. Some games we have no business winning, we're winning. Uh, but it's been fun. It's been really fun. But the guys in front of us are going to have to clean it up. You know, uh, finally some healthy bodies. Dubois back into the lineup, which gives that second line a lot of offensive power. Uh, so just looking to see how the guys respond. And we're going in here today again. Uh, home game. It seems like we get all the home starts nowadays. But battling it out, we got the gray Crayola crayon jersey on, as I like to call it. And let's see if we can't somehow continue to just put the put the pedal down and run with it, you know. Not going to stay perfect forever. There's no possible way that'll happen. But while we're riding hot and while we're playing well, we might as well see how far we can get. So even if we end up losing, I just want to be able to put out a good effort and give the guys a chance while they try and figure out some chemistry things. And I already know I turned the APS 5 off, so this is going to be reset. I hope they fix this soon. Yep, manual off. All right, let's get into it now. Crypto.com Arena for the Kings versus the Panthers. Struggling to start the season, but they've been good. Lost a lot of the pieces that they picked up last trade trade deadline. We know they obviously got Kopitar, which they traded Spence for. So it's kind of uh, Spencer Knight got traded for Anze Kopitar, and he decided to leave for Vegas. So I got to think Florida's not too happy about that one. But, I mean, they got the pieces that, that they need. If their goaltending can be good in Bobrovsky... And their defense stays healthy. A 96 overall. That's I know Matthew Kachuk had a really good season last year, but that's insane. If he's 96, what the hell is McDavid in this game now? He's got to be 100. Dude won every trophy there was possible last year. <laughs> yeah, it's been a fun start to the second season. You guys have been crushing it. Thank you guys so much for watching it. We're eking towards that superstar difficulty too. I talked about at the start of, of this whole series that that's what I like to play on learned the new mechanics then we got rid of the new mechanics by putting tether off now we're on all-star and it's feeling bloody good man it's feeling really really good so we're getting closer i think i think by the mid of season two we might make the switch and just try superstar and see how it goes there you go florida won six straight games now so to be eight and eight and still won your last six that just shows you the turnaround that they've had See if the Kempe line can get a little bit better here. They, they've definitely scored some goals, but it's it's not been the hot start like they finished last season. They've struggled a little bit. Kempe was injured for Aggie now. Going for a weird between the legs. We'll make a couple saves onto him. And that's a good save right off the rip there. So both goaltenders engaged now. If you can see there, we still are rocking that blue hockey goalie stick. Not sure what happened there. Everything else is black and gray. But while we're winning, while the record is still hot, there's... I'm not going to change anything for superstition reasons. <laughs> I'm not a superstitious guy, but I have no idea if that... Why take the chance? It's working. Here we go. Fiala now skating up with Kempe. A low shot there. A good rebound there. Kaliev trying to bang it in. He's got a free puck. Bobrovsky with an unbelievable save there. Wow. Gets back up on his feet and stones Kaliev in deep. Woohoo! And this is the line I was talking about again with Dubois back and healthy. He is playing right wing this year. They've moved Byfield up from the third line to play with him. He's been good. He's been really good. Effective. Scoring a lot of goals. Scored in his return game. Missed about three weeks. And now we take an early tripping call. So at the 1444 mark, Quinton Byfield, a little bit of an errant stick there. And now we're going to be tested. Our power play or our penalty kill has been decent this season. Needs to be a lot better. And for Florida, not the greatest percentage there on the power play. So looking to keep them quiet because we know what they're capable of. I mean, they got two two shots from the back. Ekblad and Connor or Shiri manning the point. Then you got Lundell 
Oh, this might be their second unit, though. Felino, Lundell, and probably Bennett. Yeah, that looks like Sam Bennett. Here we go, Ekblad now. Puck nearly getting back to him, but Doughty did a good job. It's a good penalty kill so far. Nearly a minute off the clock. Only the one shot so far. Yeah, this 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 stretch of hockey we're on, it's, it's seen some really good goaltending and okay stretches of good offense. Defense has been pretty questionable. A deep shot there by Lundell. We're able to stay with that and get a blocker on it. No rebound. Penalty in the dying seconds now. I say that because the video game goes a lot quicker, but there's probably, what, 20-something on the clock? 42, so even more. Okay, so not quite dying seconds yet. Good clear again here. Face-off wins are important. It's something we need to be better at as a team. We're losing a lot of games in the face-off department. Barkov now, captain for the Florida Panthers, gets pushed off by Sebastian Ajo. So getting some time on the ice here. Normally plays the third pairing. Getting some special team minutes, and I mean, what a good effort by this line. Unbelievable penalty kill. We do have another one, right? God. Charging. Okay. I don't... I, I asked you guys this last video, and I asked you if you want me to turn off charging because it gets called way too much in this game. They don't understand how charging works. It's programmed wrong. I don't think I'm going to wait for you guys to respond because this early season, charging is at one out of 100. I literally only have it on, so it might be called. And that's our, like, fifth charging penalty in the last three games. I think I'm just going to turn it off until they find a way to make it more realistic. It just doesn't make sense. Lundell now with Bennett. So the second unit back on the ice. Lundell with a good shot there. Rebound right in front of Kempe, and he'll clear the puck down deep into the Florida zone. So the second unit for Florida getting the start of this power play is the first unit ended the last power play. Lundell nearly loses it, or Gavrikov nearly loses it to Lundell. Good clear again. And Kempe putting pressure, I mean. Early showing here. That's three minutes of penalty time. Cleared off pretty, pretty scot-free. And I mean, Doughty's going to go for a skate now here too. This is unbelievable. Dubois now trying to get activated. He's getting some shorthanded minutes. Kempe, back to Dubois. And a shorthanded goal. Beautiful feed between the legs by Kempe. And that is... That's a shorthanded goal from Pierre-Luc Dubois, who's back, feeling healthy, and scoring goddamn goals. Let's go, baby. What an unbelievable shot there. Gets Bobrovsky deep in his crease. And a perfectly placed shot on the penalty kill. Sees the Kings go up 1-0. Unbelievable. Let's go, baby. If you guys have been following real hockey, you would know that there's 35 or 36 shorthanded goals so far this year, so... That is very realistic, sadly. <laughs> it's quite possible. It's unbelievable. I can't believe how many shorthanded goals there's been this year. 25 seconds left. This is the best clear I've seen all year. Back-to-back -back penalties. Literally back-to-back -back penalties. And we are 10 seconds away from clearing them both and scoring shorthanded for Haggy now. In a nice glove save on Sasha Barkov's slap shot, or I guess snap shot from the hash marks. And that is it. That is the penalty over. Well... Two seconds left, but he's going to step on the clock at the second. Step on the ice. One second left. And he is back. Penalty over. Ekblad now streaking in. I probably should have held on to that to try and get a line change, but might as well see if this fourth line can get anything going for us. Oh, barely get the glove safe on Kachuk's shot there up close. And the fans are loving that effort, and we love that effort. That's something that we've kind of been struggling with, not clearing penalties as cleanly as that. And what a good start here from the boys. Kempe now streaking in. Good save there by Bobrovsky. No rebound. Let's go. Let's go. We're in it. We're feeling good. But, I mean, I think a lot of people could look at this and be like, oh, you guys are... Like, it's crazy. But let's let's not forget what happened last year. We started off really horrible, then got extremely good. But then February may have been the worst stretch of hockey I've seen ever in any video game. So anything can change in the season. Just because we're starting good doesn't mean we're going to end good. We need to capitalize on these starts when we can. It's their 10th shot on net now. So busy first period by Florida. 
We've also had a pretty good effort down at the other end. Verhage now with Barkov. He's got Kachuk on his left there. Kachuk with the puck now. Going for a ride behind the net, trying to find anybody. Gets it back to the point, and it's a nice block out front. Kaliev getting hemmed in his own zone now. Good effort there by Kempe to skate the puck out. Fiala with the... Oh! That's our 10th shot of the game as Byfield tries joining the rush to a very offensive, dominated uh, period as, as a shot shooting gallery here in L.A. Dubois back on the ice. Your goal scorer shorthanded back in. Loses the puck. Byron skating the puck out. That's a boarding. Another. Okay, it's gone. Charging's gone. It's bugged. Charging has to be bugged. There's no way. <laughs> uh... He was skating with him, dude. How is that a charging? Uh, EA, you're stupid. Oh, man. Like, if anything, that could be boarding. Cross-checking, I don't know. I'm just gonna turn it off. Sorry, guys. I, I know that's technically unrealistic to turn it off, but come on, man. Penalties have been so good for the most part in the last, like, I don't know. Last little bit of the first season, all of the season two, but man, that charging call just makes no sense. Another great clear there, 20 seconds off the power play. I mean, we're giving, <laughs> this game's giving Florida every opportunity to get back into this one. Felino now, able to find that puck with Bennett hot on our heels. 2.47 left in the period. It's been a busy one. A lot of shots against already for both teams. Realistically, it's it's not been it's not been that lopsided. Clear that puck below, and it's a nice clear, beautiful time off the clock again. I mean, special team has looked better than five on five. Loses the puck in front. Bobrovsky smartly covers that up as it trickles into his crease. Another offensive zone faceoff for the shorthanded specialist. And a face-off win as Grunstrom carries in, but Kachuk gets the puck back, batted loose. And a good stick there again by your captain. Stick save there, didn't even react with the pads. And Donato pokes out a free from Ekblad. He skates in, he's got Grunstrom if he waits. It's a good place shot. Is that a tr Okay, bugged. It has to be, right? It has to be bugged. It's at one of a hundred. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, this is a funny game. Well, we're going to have 30 seconds and then about a minute and a half of power play. Wow, dude. What a, what a stupid, stupid program penalty. Power play opportunity now. Pacioretty skates it out. Fiala hops on. Here we go to finish off the period. Mikey Anderson down low. Tries putting that post pass on the short side post. Doesn't get it in. Some good saves here now by Bobrovsky. Who's scrambling in his net. 50 seconds left on both the period and pretty much the penalty. Pacioretty now. Then it sprawled up to Kempe. Fiala joining him. First unit on. And a good shot there. Patch already has an open net, but he's a little too deep as he tries to stop. Barkov now getting some shorthanded minutes. Passes it to Grice. Like, and we make a big save as he kind of dips in low there somehow. Pass our defenders. Five seconds left. Mikey Anderson needs to do something other than just coast in. He finds Kempe, and it's a good, good save there by Bobrovsky. It's a one nothing hockey game thanks to a shorthanded effort there by Pierre-Luc Dubois in a game that is super offensively crazy. Both teams pretty even stats down the board in favor of Florida in terms of time on attack thanks to those power plays. But the difference right now is what seemingly is a bug with the charging calls. So might be the last game that we have uh, we have charging turned on because this is kind of silly. But Fiala now penalty over back to five on five hockey to kick off period number two. Johnson skating in. He's got wingers on his left there. Loses the puck to Drew Doughty. So I mean the guys are playing 
some solid hockey defensively tonight. Fans super engaged. Patch ready now in. Goes for a dangle, loses the puck. All right, so Bobrovsky doing well here as well. He's been tested more than we have. You can tell that's the Sum 41 song. Reminds me of childhood, man. Sum 41, Blink 182, making music again. It's like it's uh, it's my early childhood all over again. Verhage now streaks in, tries to get in front. Mikey Anderson with a really good stick there again. Playing unbelievable defense so far. Hopefully, knock on wood, I didn't just jinx it. Something that they've kind of struggled with in the last few games. Offense also been really just not firing on all cylinders. Barkov with a shot. We're able to corral that one. Doughty now. Up to Kaliev, who gets it to Kempe. And this should be a free skate out of the zone. Perfect. Fiala finds a little bit of speed. And just tries doing it himself. Loses the puck. Ooh, trying to find Doughty back door. Guys, look up to Kachuk. Mikey Anderson turning on a dime. Here we go. Beautiful exits again. That's what you need. Losing in the neutral zone is whatever. It'll come. We'll, we'll make some cleaner. Whew. In tight. We're able to make a save. But some good exits. That's what I'm loving right now. Oh! Oh. Why did that bounce off? The <laughs> God. I feel like they kind of ruined the... Oh, my God, Doty. I think they kind of ruined the... Uh, where you put your stick on the ground and you fire it like a stick pass with the goalie because it just never seems to go anywhere where I'm aiming. Like, how I, I go to aim that whoever the defenseman was on my left and my guy fires it off the back of the net. And some pressure here. Again, that's our 20th shot. So, about 2020 right now. Susie streaks in. Has Bennett with him. Loses the puck. Up to Anderson. Line change now from Florida. A late line change. Gets him in trouble. And what the hell is that shot? Arthur Kaliev, who scores on a beautiful wrist shot. Ninth of the season now. What? Oh, Bobrovsky, that's a bad attempt there, man. Gorgeous place shot by... I mean, he just loses it. He just does not win that save. Oh, what a shot there. We are 2-0 now into the second period with 10 minutes left. What an effort from the boys. This is a really good back, bounce back effort. Still a lot of hockey game remaining, but I mean, unbelievable effort by the kids. Bye field now. Good job by Borowski to get over. Pressure now from the second one. We have 24 shots on net now. Oh, man. Finally, some offense clicking. You love to see it. It's been a struggle so far this season. Well, not a struggle. We found ways to score. Again, 60 minutes just hasn't been there. And so far, we're, we're approaching 40 as we get another power play. That'll probably be charging. Okay. Let's, let's keep a tally. Let's keep a tally. I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna send clips of this to EA, and I'm gonna be like, "Look up real charging and tell me how any of this is charging and why it happens four times in a game." That one actually may have been the closest to charging. That may may have been the closest looking one to a charging call. But come on, stupid. <laughs> We've had one trip and four charging. Nice shot there by Henrique. Ekblad gets the puck out. So we got a little bit of a uh, mix line here. Byfield, Henrique, and Dubois to kick things off. And then we got Lazat and Donato. So a full five forwards on this power play. Not used to seeing that. Kind of weird. Byfield now. Minute and 18 seconds left on the power play. Not a lot to show for it yet. Yeah, McLeod skating it out shorthanded. Loses the puck. Turnover now. And Henrique has Byfield with him. Skates it in. Loses the puck. Dang it. This, this line combination doesn't seem to be working, guys. Donato behind the net. It's forward on forward. No defenseman on the ice. We got to keep an eye on that. 30 seconds left. It's been good special teams for both, both units. Both teams, I mean. 
could all end here as Lazat tries to dangle around. Good save there. Good stick by Ekblad. And it comes out. That's going to pretty much do it here for our power play. I'm almost happy that we're really not scoring on too many power plays because these charging calls have been really stupid. Dubois not done, though. He's getting tangled up there really awkwardly. Gavrikov comes up to pinch, loses the puck. McLeod now. A save. Kaliev rocks McLeod after the shot. Kempe going for a skate. He loses it. Another, that's a trip. That was actually a decent call because it looked very much like he just got aggressive trying to poke check. And we'll go on another power play, so. <laughs> dude, dude. Hey, I can safely say that the majority of these games have been pretty good pe power play wise, penalty wise. This one, not so much. Not so much. There's the stats. Bobrovsky, 5 7 0, but over 9 12 save percentage, so. Trying to get his team back involved, trying to turn his around. They must have started like 0 and 6 or something, because to win six games in a row and be 7 3 0 in their last 10 is pretty impressive. Lundell with a steal now. He has a streaking Sasha Barkov. He's not going to be able to pass it. Good effort there by the boys to break that one up. Very dangerous. Clifton now with a shot. Susie corrals the puck. A tip there in front by Barkov. Another tip. We're just going to hold on to this one, actually. Our power play not looking that great. 420 <laughs> left in the period. Time on attack. Pretty even between both teams. For Hagi with nearly 18 minutes of ice time. Couple shots. One minute left in our power play. Four in the period. And after I spent a period and a half complimenting them on their breakouts and entries, <laughs> it's just sluggish all over again. Power play has not worked for either team. I think we need to stay out of the box, guys. I think it's been given the shorthanded team a much need of burst of adrenaline. You know, we got that goal and then you saw what it did to our team. Our legs were moving. We were making great passes. This is going to be Florida's second straight penalty kill after some really good efforts defensively. 28 seconds left now. See if we can't get anything going here. Doughty back in for Dubois. Loses the puck to a good poke check. McLeod now up to Kunin. McLeod stretches out, makes the save. And we're being pressured here shorthanded. And we take... What well, some part of me makes me think that our, our sliders for penalties got reset. Because we've seen how many times I have to redo the controllers because it doesn't save from game to game. I am wondering if just the, the game in general has a, a, a menu options slot like save issue. Because if, if they are the same, this is unbelievable. This is just the worst game I've seen for power plays. Patch ready, trying to clear the puck, gets it up to Doughty. But I mean, like I said, it's not working for either team right now. It's been all shorthanded efforts. That's already 40 seconds off the, the power play. Barkov now skating in. Can change in a heartbeat, though. Good shot there by Barkov. Doughty clears the puck all the way down. And... A misconduct by Pierre... Oh, no. Is that, a, is that a charging game misconduct? What the fuck is actually happening? Is that six? Or is that five? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, now we got to focus. Because, well, that's hilarious. That's a five on three for 20-something seconds. Which we still somehow managed to clear. 50 seconds. My apologies. What am I witnessing? This is the dumbest game I've ever been part of. Hello, EA? <laughs> also, it looked like he injured the guy. But a five-minute game misconduct for charging. Like, what? Oh, this is a... You guys are in for a treat. This is a... This is a team nightmare, man. This is not what you love to see at, on any squad. 
Pierre-Luc Dubois just absolutely rocking whoever the hell that was. <laughs> and they win the draw. Now let's see what they That's our 25th save of the game. Not gonna not gonna play any of these because although it hasn't been the cleanest power play opportunity for either team, I'm not taking a chance of it bouncing somewhere stupid. Barkov against who is that? I don't even know. I can't see the first number. Grant. Grant wins the faceoff against Barkov, and that's another clear here. First penalty over. We got four minutes of major penalty to clear now. So we ain't out of the woods just yet, but. I mean, this is some unbelievable shorthanded effort by both teams. Like, I don't know if it's good shorthanded or if it's just really bad power play by, by both guys. Aho uh, now loses the puck. Okay, this looks like an opportunity here. Barkov streaking in, gets hit, goes right to Verhage. Verhage decides to pass it for no reason on a... Grant gets tripped. Penalty shot! EA? Oh, EA, your programming is horrible, man. There's two defenders in the zone. Hello? Hide it? I can't hide it. Okay, he missed it anyway. What the hell am I witnessing here? I'm titling this video, Charging Madness. Even though that wasn't a charge. That should not have been a... <laughs> that should not have been a a penalty shot dude there's two defensemen right on the left side of him there's no way he would have got a breakaway from that angle oh man this is it had to have reset or something dude i don't know what else to say all right we got a two nothing hockey game and we are headed to the third period a lot of shots from both teams nothing really too you know overly wowing but this is a crazy game i don't know what else to say this is nuts not what i expected going into florida all right, here we go. Third period of hockey. We still have, what, three minutes basically left to kill from the major. We lose Dubois for the game, which he's been really good since coming back. Okay, Kachuk skates in, loses the puck, gets it back to Barkov, and we'll glove this one down. <laughs> Yikes. Time to focus up, though, boys. Tried poking that midair. Gavrikov wins the puck battle, and he's going to clear it all the way down the ice. And that's going to clear off another 30 seconds from this power play. Good save on Barkov there. They're trying to just get some rebounds, it looks like. They keep firing it off the, the pads, which probably is a smart play. Granted, they're desperate for a goal. Good hit there on Ekblad. Kachuk will go all the way down his zone. We're sub two minutes of this major penalty to Pierre-Luc Dubois. Two nothing hockey game. 19 minutes of hockey left or just under. And Her Henry comes back and corrals that as well. So another good penalty kill. This is sensational to watch. And they're just playing with the puck now. Up to Henrik. Henrik turns, gets it to... Dude, if we would have just scored another shorthanded goal, I would have freaked out. Kachuk now. <laughs> Barkov looks to the sky as Michael Webb comes across and absolutely robs and I mean absolutely robs a wicked hard shot we are going to watch this a few more times I know they just showed it but like what an unbelievable play first of all great and he gets all of that all of that Let's see if we can get an isolated shot of the young goaltender continuing to be unbelievable early in this season. There you have it. Look at that save. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not a fluff shot, not a deflection. That is a perfectly executed shot. And somehow we find a way to, to, to steal that one. 102 left on the major penalty. Grundstrom now. Penalty kill roll. Donato skating it out. He has a body with him. Unable to get it across, but he gets the puck back and they're just hounding for it. Uh-oh. The good news is we're, we're, we're taking our time to touch the puck, which means the, the five on three probably won't happen. 
nine seconds of five on three. Bad news is, after complimenting Ryan Donato, he ends up in the penalty box. Yeah, fans don't like it, but I don't know what's going on. This is this is unbelievable amount of penalties happen, happening right now. Five seconds left in the major. Connor Sheary tries getting it on net. He has, oh, sprawling Lazat, but unable to make the pass. 140 left on the newest power play. What? This is all special teams, man. This is all a special teams game. This is crazy. Good penalty kill again, dude. 30 hits now in the game for Florida. Barkov trying to streak in. He gets hit off by Gavrikov. A minute 10 now in the power play as Lazat streaks in. And another shorthanded opportunity. He bats it into his own net. <laughs> no way. Shorthanded goal number two is Connor Sheary. It's a great play shot. Bobrovsky doesn't get a hold of it. You can see him bring his glove back down thinking he has a hold of it. Watch this. Gets a piece. Pulls it into his chest thinking he has it. He, he does the turn. But the puck is free. And it is Connor Sheary. I mean, he had to go for it because the puck was going to flip in anyway. Blake Lazat shorthanded gets our second shorty of the game. 3 nothing LA Kings. And this game has been chock full of power play opportunities and the shorthanded team in every single one has been better for both squads 55 seconds now in the penalty this is unbelievable to watch and it, it had to have reset itself it had to have if it didn't Yeah, I mean, that's that's the most clear-cut penalty I've seen all game. Gavrikov just skating backwards, stick on the ice, and he trips him. <laughs> what, dude, dude? This is the slowest game of hockey I've I've had in my season. We're at 32 minutes of this video, and we still have 15 minutes left in, this, in the third period. What a wild ride we're in for here, guys. My word. Oh, my gosh. Unprecedented times for both teams. Good effort there. Good shot. Kempe now on the power play. So see if any team can capitalize on the power play. It's been crazy, dude. I think each team has had five or six opportunities. Here we go. This is like, this is honestly like real NHL. I'm not kidding. There has been like 36 shorthanded goals in real NHL. And on our power play now, Kachuk gets it back on net, hits it off the post, off my helmet. Okay, so it's straight up in the air. Everybody loses track except for Greislick, who then gets it on his stick and banks it in for their own shorty. And with 13 minutes left in this period, that close to another shootout, we have three shorthanded goals in this game. And we're not done. Now the difference, now now that that now is 3-1. The difference for us leading this game is two shorthanded goals. This is unbelievable. Wow, dude. I mean, it's only fair. Like I said, in every single power play, the shorthanded team has been better. And it continues. That's a great effort by Kachuk. Gets a kind of a lucky break with that hitting off the post and then hitting off my head but they stayed with it and they got a goal so i mean trying to respond here now and turn the tides let the power play score for once i actually can't believe what i'm watching here this is the craziest hockey game of my career 10 seconds left in the power play henrique trying to change the odds hits Bobrovsky really awkwardly and falls down Barkov out now. Dude, it's we are now 0 for 4 and they're 0 for 5. That's, I believe, 9, maybe 10 power plays with no goals for and three goals against. <laughs> oh, what a weird play that was. Let's just get the hell out of this game. Unfortunate for the shoot shutout opportunity. I think I think we could have. I mean, like I said, it only naturally made sense that they scored on that. 
just the way the game was going, you could you could tell that if we took a power play, something stupid was going to happen. For Hagi now, skating the puck out. He's got Bennett. He's got Kachuk. Florida still very much alive in this game. Looking to streak in. That's a very weird change of direction on that shot. And thankfully, we stayed on that left side. Wow. Wow, dude. Don't know what else to tell you. This is This is insane to witness right now. Byfield wins it back for Gavrikov. Finally back to five on five hockey. Spence now. Loses the puck. Kachuk loses it as well. Byfield with a hard clapper. Kapan is streaking in. So again, some lineup mixes here as Dubois leaves the game due to misconduct. Kapanen. Kachuk. Puck is just. Oh my gosh, that could have squirted through. Thankfully, Pacioretty stayed on the correct side of that. New line mate to replace Dubois seems to be Kapanen. 8.15 left in this third wild period. Barkov for Hagi. And Fiala will squirt this one out. Fiala now tries to get it centered for Kaliev. That may have been even Gavrikov, 84, not 34. Barkov skating in. He's going to pass it off to Byron. Loses the puck. A rebound. What a wild game we got going on here. This is a fun and exciting one, albeit a little bit, <laughs> quite a bit ridiculous. Kaliev now. Now to Gavrikov. 34 to 84. Tries to hit it on net. Gets blocked by Shiri. We have five minutes left in this third frame. Bennett. Kaliev, which is a nice little move up to Fiala, and Bobrovsky's looking very settled all of a sudden in the net. I said it before, I'll say it again. Watch out for that game. Three games from now, we battle it out with the St. Louis Blues as we get to check out Austin Matthews for the first time in a Blues uniform. That's terrifying to think of. Drew Doughty now, back to Fiala. Here we go, we got some five-on-five -five movement now. Four minutes left in the game. Somehow, let's stay the hell out of the box. Both teams, please. Sherry goes for a skate, loses it to Mikey Anderson. Dude, I, do, I don't know what to say about this game. Like, I'm actually kind of racking my brain how to summarize what the hell I just witnessed. And the only thing that keeps coming back is if, if, this, if it did not reset, this is the worst display of discipline I've seen in NHL 24. Potentially in any, any NHL game. Kempe now in front. Or sorry, that was Doughty going in deep. 40, 40 hits now for the Kings. So a very physical game, 41. Kachuk, minute 20 left on the clock. Bennett, you got to think Bob is going to be going to the net. He is. He's charging towards the net for the extra attacker. Bennett in tight. Loses the puck, but Byfield corrals it. Empty net on the other side of the ice. Drew Doughty going for a skate. Gets it across, fires it on net, and we will score. A fourth goal here late in the third period. What a game, dude. And we are moments away from going 9-0-0 to kick off season two. And I mean, this has to be the most awkward and weirdest game I've ever been a part of. But at the end of the day, it is a two-point performance by the boys. And Doughty has his sixth. This is crazy. This is, we were we were one away from a shutout again. And it was a shorthanded tally off a lucky bounce that does it. Shutouts are gonna be hard to come by, we knew that, but I mean, when you're that close and just crazy things continue happening, I mean, it's not done technically yet. But what an effort from us in that. What an effort from Bobrovsky, I mean, that is a really good effort from him. He got tested a lot too. Two points in the bank. I, I don't know what to say. I, you can't make up this narrative. You can't. Not every every game has been so freaking different and so full of drama that I don't even know how to react to this win. Other than we're nine and zero on the season, and I mean, look at this young man, Bailey, love and life. Thirty-seven save effort from us. Like.
Moment of truth, though. Let's see if the sliders reset. I got to think they did. I have to think that the sliders reset. Well, let's take if they didn't, the holy shit. What another effort from the boy. The <sighs> oh, there, there you guys can see the uh, bottom line score. I'm just inside that one. So one would be starter. The higher you are, the more likely you are to be a starter. But I mean, I do feel a little bad for Spencer Knight because I've dominated this season so far. And I think we're going to save a couple points here. What do we got here? This is stick work, passing. No, don't care about that. Recovery. Maybe I'll put a point in recovery. It's probably a good idea. All right. I got to think this reset. Yep. Okay. EA, you suck, man. You freaking suck, dude. Oh, my God. Oh my god, why did it reset? Why? Also, I found the only reason I'm going to these numbers is I found something online. It was a big thread and somebody posted an image that a lot of people said were like perfect. So that's why I'm going down to these numbers. So tripping slashing elbowing needs to be at a 10 because elbowing doesn't happen that often. High sticking can go down to a 15. Okay, well, that makes sense. God, that is the worst bug ever, dude. I'm going to have to check this at the start of every video now. Cross-checking. We'll put that at 15 as well. Doesn't happen often, but boarding, that's going to go down. I think they put that at like a 10. And I think charging, I don't know what they put it at, but man, I'm, I'm literally turning this down to a 1 again. 1. Delay of game. Doesn't happen that often, but we'll reduce it anyway. We'll keep that at a 20. Holding, I think they do a 15 as well. I'm going to have to double check these numbers from that. I saved the image. It was just like somebody posted on Reddit was like, these are the best via pro settings for goaltenders. And I copied it and it was good there for a while. Basically, the way they do it is like 15 seems to be the best like percentage of when they occur for normal like everyday calls. And then the, the worst ones, you just reduce a little bit more. So I'm going to change that and then hit save and it probably won't matter if i turn my ps5 off it's most likely going to just reset but ladies and gentlemen we have a 900 start a 931 save percentage 2.29 goals against average that is unbelievable and we are going to continue to roll as 10 5 and 1 is your record for the the kings and we are going to get the next start it is another home game man the kings have a hell of a like they've had like two road games in the first like 20 games of this season we'll take it though we're good at home we're playing well devon taves dougie hamilton jack hughes are your difference makers there for the new jersey devils we'll have to see who their goaltender is we haven't played the devils in our career maybe we have i can't remember but yeah that makes sense kind of kind of makes it the outcome a little bit shittier knowing that that many calls were were there but all in all, still very, very happy with my performance. We're so close to the shutout. We're right there, guys. We are right there. All right, let's get after it. We're back home. Back-to-back -back home games. Back-to-back -back games in general. And we know what the Hughes brothers can do. They, We've definitely played them because I know I've gotten rocked by them before. Up to Kempe. Anderson. Up to Doughty. Back to Kempe. Keep an eye on who their goaltender is. Ivanacek still? Timo Meyer going for a skate. Gets in. Right to Brat. Jesper Brat all alone. The passing that just happened fooled me so much. And I mean, that's my fault. I'm sliding everywhere in the net. But holy crap, that passing was impressive. And within the first two minutes of this hockey game, Timo Meyer gets the puck back. What a pass there by Jack Hughes. So I get over to try and cut off the shot from Hughes. Passes it right back. I did get across, but it was too late. All right, well, don't have to worry about trying to hold on to a shutout this time. It ends in the first two minutes. one nothing Devils. And... Okay, my bad. What a passing sequence. My God. There's so many good teams in this video game. It scares me. Fiala now tries to get it back. Good, good save there by the goaltender. Kempe. All right, well, it's going to be one of those games, eh? It's going to be one of those games, A. Eh? Okay, okay. Adrian Kempe, third goal of the season with a beautiful response. Still don't know who their goalie is. Oh, he almost turned around. What is it? Ah, slow down. Is that still Vanacek? Yeah, it's still Vanacek. Okay. 
And I mean, a gorgeous shot there. An absolutely perfectly placed shot by Adrian Kempe. And all of a sudden, in the first two and a half minutes of this hockey game, we have a 1-1 game. So not quite the defensive, you know, goalie battle that we had last game. Instead, a couple shots apiece, a couple goals apiece, or a goal apiece. Crazy fast. Mercer now, the young, the young player here for Devils. Who started off the season so strong in real hockey and sadly has uh, has lost his momentum, relegated down to the lower lines. But Wheeler now. Is that Blake Wheeler? Former captain of the Winnipeg Jacks, now playing for the Devils. And Anderson gonna pass that one up. Goes a little past Doughty. Long stretch pass for Patch Reddy. Kempe still on the ice with Kaliev. Half a line change going on. Crazy, crazy times here. Yeah, that pass by Hughes was gross. I mean, they're so good. I, the, him and his brother in real hockey, I played, the guy I played last week in fantasy had uh, Luke and Jack Hughes. And anytime they played, they ended the night with like seven assists between them. It's like stupid how good they are. I think Devils will go really far in hockey like this season if they get good goaltending. And I think the goaltending will be... A, Question mark. Because they got decent defense. They have unbelievable offense. But goaltending is still kind of a question mark. And it's just going to see how these goaltenders are able to, you know, handle a little bit of pressure. Here we go. Palat now to Holtz. And that might be our first save of the game. Fast, fast start here. Seven minutes in. It's already 1-1. One, one. But what an ability to bounce back this team has. I mean, that's a, that's a hell of an effort from Kempe to go down the ice seconds after they score to get us back square. And it's an even hockey game once again. Up to Pacioretty now. Pacioretty with a burst of speed. Nearly goes between the legs and then buries it short side. Vanacek has a really low stance. By field now. Passes it up to Patch Reddy. That's actually something I forgot to do. If you go back to the very first video, there's a section in your create a goalie that says details, and that's where you change your goalie stance. I totally didn't even notice that, and I did not change it, so we just have the default one. I actually don't mind it anyway. Uh, preferably, I would be a, a tiny bit lower with my glove a little bit higher. I'm sure we could have found a stance uh, to, match, to match that, but... It's pretty close to what I wanted. Like I said, I, I typically in past games like my glove just a bit higher. Just visually, it looks better. But now I'm now I'm used to this stance. Default stance is fine. It's end of the day. It's not. Doesn't really change how you play too much. Good period so far. Much better. Cleaner. <laughs> Seven three zero in our last ten games. Again, do not have a blemish on the scorecard yet. It is the losses are from our second goalie at this time why didn't i corral that puck that's a lazy effort by michael webb and net as wheeler comes streaming down and banks that one in blake wheeler with his fourth goal of the season that hit me in the stomach and i just stared at it why didn't i why didn't i hold on to that puck oh it fell so perfectly in front and he just corrals that with a nice little toe drag and a 2-1 hockey game so all right i need to clean this up a little bit this is my worst start so far of the season gross yeah i don't know why my guy didn't go for for the cover that was weird i know it was like kind of like a bang bang play but all right let's focus up spence now so in terms of goaltending like i said probably the least ideal start i've had so far kaliev now trying to make this different campe again looking to respond they did it last time can they do it again Kaliev now. His shot's blocked. 650 left in this opening frame. Passes it to nobody. Here we go. Devils with pressure now. Three guys below us on the goal crease. What the heck am I looking at? All right, face-offs in favor. Tied up now, 4-4, I was going to say, in favor of the Devils. Gavrikov going for a bit of a skate. He gets in cleanly. He has Dubois. That's one hell of an effort. 
one hell of an effort by Vladimir Gavriskov. Vladim Vladimov? I don't even know what his first name is, but he's unbelievable. Passes it to Pierre-Luc Dubois, who has scored his signature goal from that spot. Oh, that's a good effort by Pacioretty to get in front of two bodies. And a perfectly placed shot. Perfect pass. Flat on the tape. Dubois does what he does best. He just banks that one easy to beat Vanacek. And all of a sudden, it's a 2-2 hockey game. Fast one here. I mean, night and day difference between the defensive effort and the goaltending effort of last game. Both goaltenders looking a little sluggish. Both defense looking a little sluggish. But it's an offensive display here early in L.A. against the Devils. And that's a power play for us as Jack Hughes gets a tripping call with 4.55 left on the first period. Uh, kind of unlike Hughes, you know, usually pretty good. We all saw that I adjusted the slider, so if they didn't save again, that ain't my fault. Crowd into it. First opportunity on the power play. Dougie Hamilton gets the puck, and he's going to clear that one all the way down the ice. So good clear there by Hamilton. And a good effort here once again, shorthanded. It seems like that's the story and the narrative of the last few games. But finally, the Kings are able to crowd this one out. It's Drew Doughty that's going for a skate. Nico Heischer grabs that puck back. So he's still the captain of the, the Devils. Good young player. Knows what he brings to the team. Byfield now streaking in. Passes it off to Henrique. Loses it, but gets his own little rebound, so to speak. Big shot there. Byfield. Patience. The patience from the young man. And we have a 3-2 hockey game in this first period as a power play marker from Quentin Byfield. Unbelievable patience. Sees Vanacek out, just waits the defenseman to go by him. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I mean, Vanacek should have been able to get up there, but what patience you see here from the young man. Flips it past him. <laughs> I always love watching these rebounds. He's doing a barrel roll in the crease. And like I said, offense just keeps continues to dominate this one. Wow, 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 wee wow. 347 left. We take a 3-2 lead off the power play tally. Henrique patch ready. Assists. So again, the two newcomers very much heavily involved in this team early. Making those acquisitions look real juicy. Drew Doughty now up to Byfield. Huge to Hamilton. So look for Hughes to have a good bounce back. That was his penalty. That was his shorthanded for his team that allowed the go-ahead goal. And for the first time, we got a 3-2 lead here. Hughes to Hughes. A nice shifty little shot. Waits, waits. Able to uh, able to corral that one nicely. Not a ton of saves in this one, so need to stay dialed as he bounces off. Byfield right on the doorstep. You like my James Sabalski impression? Oh my god, he's right on the doorstep. <laughs> and that's just I mean a good start for Hughes not a lot of uh, uh, goals there but how about that start by Drew Doughty first year with a C first year having the leadership role all to himself for the most part the, the longest reigning tenure for a Kings player and he is making the most of his opportunity getting involved heavily offensively being a force back there in the back Drew Doughty has to get off as this helmet comes up and another nice passing play as the period comes to an end. But all of the uh, highlights going to the offense in that one. Let's see what the shots are. So 11 to 8. Really not that great from both goaltenders. But lots of hockey left to be played. Let's shut the door from here on out. Give the op boys an opportunity. Remember, perfect hockey on the line. 9 0 0. Hey, anything's possible. Anything is possible. Dougie Hamilton now up to meet Meyer. Good stick there. Kind of kind of risky stopping that puck right on the goal crease, but he had a follow-up stick there to get that one out. Anderson squirts that back into the defensive zone of the New Jersey Devils. Let's see if this is a much tidier defensive period or if the offense continues to just flourish in this one. As Kempe skates this puck into the uh, offensive zone. Back to Fiala. There's a good save by Vanacek. Big one there to keep his team very much alive. Timo Meyer skating in now. He's got backup in front. Great save. Or great block and then a beautiful save on Timo Meyer. Ooh. Defense helping me out on that first one. Dougie Hamilton now. 
wide shot. Drew Doughty crawling the puck. So, yeah, nice block in front. Then I was able to rob Timo Meyer. Ooh. All right. Both goaltenders getting a little bit, little bit comfortable in this one now. Settling in. It was a rough first period for sure. Mercer gets a shot blocked by Mikey Anderson. Fiala dumps the puck in. Hamilton now. Up to Wheeler. I can start it. I'm starting to feel the intensity ramp up. Looks like I got up a little bit slow, but that might just be fatigue. As we did split with Mikey Anderson barreling into our legs there. Oh, it was also whoever that is that he was hitting my left leg. Dangerous play there. Hopefully the hopefully we don't get injured. I don't even know if goaltenders can get injured while playing, but very, very close to being dangerous there. Intensity picking up. Again, a lot on the line. Mostly just a team effort. We want to continue our dominant hockey. Individually, yeah, stats being 10 to nothing would... I mean, yeah, I'll definitely go crazy if it happens. But for me, it's just trying to give the, the team opportunities to win. We made it our mission at the very start of the season to make it into the playoffs without having to scrape by into the playoffs. We started off October hot. We continue that into November. And here we are with the lead again, battling it out with New Jersey. 11.51 left in the second. A statement year by the sophomore. Had an okay rookie start, ended it on a pretty high note with some good games. And now we are proving why we are the starting goaltender over Spencer Knight, who has gotten off to a pretty rough start. Holtz now in his own zone, skates it to the neutral zone, kind of gets stuck on the referee there, loses the puck after a big hit, patch ready up to Anderson. We are turning this puck around very quickly, some good plays in the neutral zone. I don't like that dumb pin. Holtz to Halla. Eric Halla now skating in. Loses it once again. Oh, here we go. I saw that passing play the whole time. Get the hell out of here. When you have your stick wide up in the air before the pass even happens, I know you're calling for the shot there, buddy. Shots in the game are dead even now. 13 apiece. Like I said, 3-2 hockey game. Half the period remaining in the second. Hughes. To Hamilton breaks the stick on the play and actually I'm gonna play this because there is a broken stick he's got to go to the bench he gets a stick back in the play quickly good play by Dougie Hamilton and shout out to the the bench equipment manager for getting him a stick quickly there although it was, in this game it was probably a player just holding out their stick Holla back to Dougie Hamilton fresh twig in hand and that hits Kempe hard and we get across to make a beautiful save there. Hopefully Kempe is okay. He just took that one high up on the chest Dougie Hamilton dishes it to Hughes who streaks in and I mean we're in full pressure mode now Every save is gonna feel like a desperation save Stick helping us out Yep, yeah, you could feel that one either that or a penalty coming Hughes He's involved. I mean, he's just in the perfect spot there. His third goal of the season. The rebound. Passes it, or gets back to the point, and that's just a beautiful backhanded pass. So quick, too. And I mean, I'm getting tied up there with Kempe. I can't stretch across there. Miscommunication by Kempe, who's out, out in the crease. Our hand's going crazy. We have 2-2 hockey game. Or sorry, 3-3 hockey game now. My gosh. This is an offensive, offensive game, man. But you're hemmed in your zone. You got Jack Hughes on the ice. It's a hell of a pass by Holtz. And he ain't done here. He ain't done here. Has no idea what our defensemen are doing. No idea now. Oh, God. And I am getting lit up for the first time this year. Fourth goal now. Jack Hughes. What in God's name am I watching? And I bit to the right I got over just nowhere near enough or I mean out of position desperation attempt 
you cannot give up a face off like that and then just not move great play i mean 4-3 this is like i said a hell of a fast game another miss put played puck there and i mean we're not done this game this game could get really ugly what a difference two games can make defense look good goaltenders look great now we got a, a an offensive shootout both goalies looking sluggish defense not there on either team anderson now pucks being turned over byfield streaking in alone he takes out vanacek i'm surprised there's not a play on on, on the ice or penalty sorry i don't know what i just said 20 shots now in the game it's crazy how fast stats can turn four goals against not what you like to see coming from me but frig dude that's tough that's tough dougie hamilton gets slammed off the puck but he was there to bail him out two minutes left in the second period four three hockey game really got to shut the door now wow what a game patch ready now looking to get his team back into it there's a good block Hamilton looking banged up. So he's staying on the ice, but he is hurt. Nico Hishier now gets hit as well. Here we go, up to Kempe. And a good save there. Keeps his team in late, but he comes back in front. And if he toe dragged it, he had a chance on the back door. But that is going to be a 4-3 period. And it is a wild one here, guys. It is a wild game here. Like I said, he ain't going to win them all. I'm not saying we're out of this game by any means, but it's not always going to be, you know, cookie cutter. That deep in my crease went to the wrong way. Yeah, partial blame on, on the defense for even allowing that to happen, but got to be able to challenge a guy streaking in like that better. Unable to get the job done. He buries it. And uh, we start the third period trailing the New Jersey Devils, but we know what the guys are capable of. It is an offensive game right now. Hughes over to Jesper Bratt. Luke Hughes with the shot on net. I don't know about that, Cheryl. Like, we've had the puck on our stick. It's just been a very sloppy game from both sides. Marino now to Brat. Timo Meyer on net. We make a save. Stop the uh, stop the bleeding here early. Get it up. Kaliev, we know he can score. He goes in. Tries a low shot. So they might see something on Vanacek that they like. They keep trying to go five hole on them. Have we scored five hole on this? I don't know if they're just going for rebounds or or what, but 1730 left in the game. Trailing by one. Doughty, 32 and a half minutes of ice time. Right what we expected in a brief pro career. The old man still has life in those legs. Here we go. Anderson up to Kempe. Loses the puck, but he gets it right back. Again, this is the sloppiest game we've seen in a long time. Kaliev tries to be him blocker side. Rebound now. Jack Hughes, the man who's gotten the team two goals in the last, I don't know, 15 minutes of hockey. Looking for the hat trick. Kaliev gets stripped up. We're going to have a delayed penalty here for the New Jersey Devils. That'll be a power play. An opportunity here. Hasn't been many. Obviously, we turned down the sliders. Jack Hughes. This man has been in the box twice, and he's gotten two goals. What a game he's got going. He needs two apples, two fights. We'll call that the Jack Hughes special. Come on, boys. We know we can do it. Announcer trying to get the crowd involved again. One shot, one goal. That's reminiscent of our couple games ago. Dubois steals the puck back. Gets in front of Byfield. And a hell of a save there by Vanacek. Here we go. Oh, good backhand. All right, some good pressure here early. Come on, boys. Dubois taking the face off. So he comes in for the strong side. Loses it. That is not a face-off loss you want to have in the offensive zone, but we get the puck back. In and alone now. Tries to feed and cross. Byfield gets the puck back. Holy shit, this guy is creative. He is so patient. He could have very easily backhanded it for a good scoring chance, and instead he waits, 
spins around and fires his short side. Boom! Takes the water bottle too. And we are tied hockey game. A power play marker for Quinn Byfield. His second of the night. Six of the season. And the LA Kings once again. Stop me if you've heard this before. But they find a way back into this hockey game. Jack Hughes sitting in the box. It's a power play goal. It's a fourth goal. 4-4 four, four hockey game. With 14-20 left on the clock. What a freaking game we got going here. Much different than the last one. And we're not done yet as Byfield looks for the same side. It's squirting in front. Patchetti unable to get the rebound. But he's back in front with Dubois. Defenseman may have saved a goal. I like this line. I'm so glad Dubois is back and healthy. So we're still looking to piece together a perfect game of hockey. There there hasn't been a game this year that I've looked at the, the team and been like, we're good defensive, we're good in goaltending, and we're good at offense. It's kind of been just a mixed bag of a couple and not all. So good offensive effort for sure. Defense for both teams this game has been really bad. And more importantly, goaltending has not been what we're used to. But some good late saves here. Marino getting tied up, 11.38 in the game back in front there good sticks all around from the boys Dubois now with a head of steam gets it taken away up to Wheeler so the second line of Hishier Wheeler and Mercer trying to get involved we'll make a save we'll hold on we'll hold on not not gonna try and get too too creative with the passes here hits are very much in favor of LA so physicality our strong suit in this season Fans are loving it. Bailey's in the corner, banging on his little drum. Fiala will win that one. He'll just dump it deep. I think that's a smart play. Offense seem very in tune with what they need to do. Hishier now. Sca skating the puck out. Does a nice little dipsy doodle, and he'll go for a toe drag shot. We'll save that one. Up to Kaliev now. Here we go. Kaliev. We know he's dangerous from that short side. Doesn't doesn't decide to shoot it. Mercer now. Mercer in. And I think we'll just hold on to this one. That's a tough stretch of hockey coming up. Winnipeg Jets. Austin Matthews in the Blues. And then that terrifying Vegas Golden Knights team. They have Mark Shifley. They have Kopitar. Oh my gosh. If that team's not in first place by the end of the year, I have no idea what the hell is going on. Or maybe they're just too full of superstars where they can't make it work. That could also happen. Sometimes, you know, simulating games and AI have a weird way of not working the way you want it to. Double crunch there. Oh, rebound. Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. Off the butt of Drew Doughty. We somehow find that puck. I mean, when you're comparing Luke Hughes, or sorry, Jack Hughes... A god-tier offensive man to the stats of Drew Doughty. Doughty has him in the stats department. That is just showing how good Drew Doughty has been this season. Another kind of questionable bounce out front. We're just going to hold on. Pressure is full, so we need a face-off win. Time on attack has been all New Jersey. That's crazy. But we've made the most of our opportunities again. A lot of shots. Try and get this one clear to alleviate that full pressure. Beautiful. Kaliev will skate it out. Get it up to Kempe. He's got Fiala trying to get to the net. Passes it back to Kaliev. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. 5.57 left on the clock. 4-4 hockey game. <sighs> We're getting close to 30 saves. So bounce back nicely after some tough goals. Jack Hughes has been an absolute juggernaut in that face-off dot. Here we go. Speaking of the man, Hughes trying to get in. What an absolute robbery on Jesper Bratt there. We'll play the puck, too, for good measure. Five minutes left on the clock. Dubois skating in. He's got Byfield helping him out. Loses the puck to Timo Meyer though. <gasps> what the fuck is my guy doing?
beautiful goal, James, to be able to get that puck and fire it home. But how about the pass? I mean, the recognition of where the defender is so that you have to elevate the puck. Over what is he doing? But it's all in the landing spot, and it was perfectly executed. <sighs> New Jersey's got the lead here in period number three. Oh. Oh. What? That's not even a shot. Is it because it got tipped my guy reacted? Why, why is he sliding to the left? And why is he trying to poke check it? A 9-0-0 record on the line. And my goalie pull... Oh. So Cheryl, do you protect or oh you my god. I think there's a fine balance you can't... You, can't, you cannot write a script better than what's been happening in these last few games. You just can't. I mean, that's just unfortunate. I... I feel like the tip structure is way too hard on goaltenders. Because you even see it with, with computer goalies as well. A shot gets blocked and you go into some stupid desperation save mode. Like, my guy just moved 10 feet to the left to try and make a save. And then he's trying to poke check it automatically. Like, is there a way to turn poke check to manual? Because why the hell is he... Oh, God. Five goals against for the first time this year. We have a 5-4 hockey game for the New Jersey Devils. In a 9-0-0 start from Michael Webb is at risk because of that garbage. Oh no no no! One forty-four on the clock. Face-off lost in the offensive zone. This is just unbelievable game. I mean, if we end up losing this, which it's now a very likely chance we will. We got to be honest with ourselves. We stole some games we had no business winning. So this could be a way of this could be a way of the game telling us let's get you back back to where you should be, but oh, what an effort to get back into the game from the boys was making some big saves. And the tail of the tape right now, the TSN turning point is a automatic save attempt that pulled me away, followed by an automatic poke check oh, and I think unfortunately that's going to be it ladies and gentlemen unless we get one more opportunity with 15 seconds left Kempe's got a turn and he's going to dump it we're not even going to get called to the bench here what a terrible way to end a perfect round of hockey that we had oh I, I don't know what to say about that one. It, it kind of feels bad. But again, I mean, when you're looking at the start, it had to end. There's no way you're going to continue a perfect streak. Oh, dude, what a heartbreaker. What an absolute heartbreaker for the kid. We were so close to, to, to getting another point at least. And it ends right, in total heartbreak. I mean, let's be honest here. I wasn't good enough. The team wasn't good enough defensively. Neither was theirs. It was a great showing of offense from both both teams. A lot of fun to watch as a fan. But dude, that can't. And there's the record. Nine, one, and oh. And it is what it is. You know, like I said, it's it's not the end of the world. Dude, that sucks. Oh well. Let's simulate this game, see if Spencer Knight can get back on track. He does. Finally, finally, he is getting a, a one. Okay, so the offense fell dry in that one, too. One nothing shutout win for Spencer Knight. That's a good bounce back game. I hope they give me this game, though. I would love to see. Let's go. We get Austin Matthews and the St. Louis Blues, who are not doing as well as I thought, granted how many goals he has. So 7 10 and 2. Let's just have a quick peek at the stats central and see where he's lying in goals because that seems pretty low. Let's sort it by... Uh, oh, wait, this is LA Kings. I need to go to St. Louis Blues. So, I mean, he's got 11 goals in 19 games. So, not quite where I thought he'd be, to be honest. I thought he'd have a little bit more, but... I mean, they really don't have much. It's kind of an interesting choice by Matthews to go there. But, ladies and gentlemen... 
that one was a longer video that first game was the craziest thing i have ever seen that's gonna be all for this one thank you guys so much for watching my apologies for that last goal i wish i could have changed it i can't 10 10 nothing comes this close just just short but we are 9-1-0 it's still one hell of a start to the season that's gonna be it guys until the next video make sure you enjoy the rest of your evening be kind to each other and until the next one that's it guys bye